Welcome to Craft and Cocktails, powered by Limelight Wired. I'm your host, Chris Werner. Today we're talking to Alvaro Torino Grosso from ATG Design. I've got questions, you've got questions, a special guest has questions. Let's do it. Could you um, tell us how you are expanding your skill set? In what ways, I guess specifically, now that you're probably stuck at home, how are you trying to learn more things, learn new things, try new things? Very good question. So I like to. Um... I like to try always new things, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I try to make more effects like a, in, in a different, let's say for, I noticed that last year, uh, I use a lot of teal effects, fly out with teal, a lot, like a lot. So I'm like, okay, they look cool, they go with the music, but I, I want to do something a little bit different. Let's this year make a little bit something more with fun. It's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to do effects like this fun that I go with the beam with the music but let me try to do something with the with with um with pan and and not like a on and off something like a they go stay a little bit and then the, when this one comes stay a little bit both goes off and stuff a little bit more complicated so I play with the forms on on the main too and make new forms sometimes works sometimes doesn't um I'm very excited to see the when I play these effects in real life, they were or not, because that's the, the, the real test in real life. In the 3D, they look cool, but I don't know to you see the rig. Are you but spending any time learning MA3? Are you preparing yeah. for that change? Yes, um, actually, that's, I started building my star show file in MA3. Uh, I did uh, the course online for ACT. Um, um, I finished the course and um, I'm building a show file with the May 3. Um, I got the feeling that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful zone where it's very, um, it has a lot of new stuff that is going to be very essential in the future. Um, what happens when you uh, turn the console off and step away? What are your hobbies away from, from lighting? Well, I have uh, two kids and they are my everything, my, my, my hobbies, my, my entertainment, my everything. So. I play with them a lot, try to teach them and, and be father. And then I, when I'm no father, I'm, I like to play some sport that is called Padre. Padre. It's a, a sport from Spain. And it's like tennis and, and, and racquetball combined. So, okay. Uh, How old are your kids? So my son is five and my daughter two. Uh, and have you uh, already laid the groundwork to stay away from entertainment? Don't follow dad's footprints? I don't want to put any limits on them. All right, so all right. I want them to be whatever makes them happy, so. Is there a bucket list project that you are hoping somebody calls you for? Is there a, an epic nightclub, an epic festival? Uh, is there a thing you're dying to do? Last year, yeah, yeah, last year I had the opportunity to program a show for Above and Beyond in ADC. And it was a, the biggest rig that I ever seen in my life and that I got hands on it. And that was really, really, really exciting and, and fun. So I would love to not just program the show, just run the show too. Um, with them in some huge place like that. Um, in my list, yes, that would be like the first one. Do like a massive show with Above and Beyond. I would love to do Above and Beyond on Omnia. Awesome. They have an amazing one of the best LDs of the world, so I hope that he let me do it on Omnia. Well, let's hope he's watching. Okay, so the folks uh, following Limelight Wire have submitted some questions, and we're going to hit you up with a couple of them now. Uh, the first one is from Trexasaurus, who puts you in the position of having only one light to use on all of your shows, what would that light be? I would pick um, like a hybrid light. Uh, is it probably like a Mito? One Mito. Mitos. Mitos, yes. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, uh, we've got one more for you. Uh, Christian Brockdor asks, uh, what is the best way to learn macros? How can you sort of, uh, that's a console uh, agnostic question. Is there a good way to learn how to build macros that 
do what you just showed us. Yes. Before learn macros, the, I think that the best way or the best thing that you have to understand is why you want to do a macro. For a shortcut, for what you want to do a macro? Because I have a lot of friends that they ask me, hey, how, how I made the macros? And, and I'm like, yes, for what you want to make the macro? So like, like you know, it has to be like a, for your own convenience, just you know to have macros. So first of all, when you know for what you want macros, let's say that, okay, I want to make a macro just to uh, call a preset in sequence. Like, you know, then you you the best way to learn that is like, you open your command line, you open your command line, you put in a side, and then you go to whatever you want to do, let's say like a position five, and then you change page and go to 2.5.6. Then you have that feedback in the command line, and then you just replicate whatever it say there. That's the easy way to start with macro, something easy. So you say like, I go to position five, executor, 3.5, and then you saw that in the other word line says um, go to sequence, uh, go to Q1, uh, executor 6.5. So that's the easy way. And so I'm going to ask you right now, what are your social distancing discs? What album would you go ahead and have, or do you need to have, while you're socially distancing to keep sane? Okay, you're you're up. What are uh, the three albums you were listening to during this stay-at-home pandemic? Okay, so I've been listening one guy that is called, uh, it's a um, Latin artist that is called Semet. He's an Argentinian guy that I like the, the music. i um, been listening to that one a lot, just to change a little bit my, 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 my mood. Uh, I've been listening a lot to... Um, Playlist that I made myself in Spotify, but at Deep House, I like Deep House a lot. Alvaro, this has been awesome. Thank you. And for those viewing at home, thank you for joining us. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. As always, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for your time. I'm Chris Werner. You can find me on Instagram.